it's almost wednesday my dudes and welcome back to another call of duty mobile video where today we got a crate opening lined up for y'all because the brand new moonshot crate has come out with a really cool skin for the chickum unfortunately it is the chickum but it's a cool skin i want to get my hands on it and i'm not gonna lie throughout the crate there are a few other pretty cool skins like over here like i'm not gonna lie this like whole ashen viper skin that's pretty much available throughout the blues actually looks really cool and like the copper head over here that you can see on like the 117 within the bk57 i'm actually a big fan of that on top of this really cool ashen viper backpack that i think goes really well with some of the new skins so definitely interested in popping these open so hopefully luck's on our side i'm wearing my lucky goggles and without further ado let's pop open our first one hopefully we get this thing asap and we can go and show it off with some gameplay okay we got the copper head okay we got the ashen but Bro, I appreciate the copperheads, but let me see that purple, baby. I'm seeing a lot of blues, but not the purple. It costs 720 COD points for 10 of these crates, so... Hopefully, I don't got to open too many of them, dude, because I don't want to have to buy more COD points already. Come on, Moonshine Crate. Show me what you got. Something, something purple. I'm just seeing lots of blue. Lots of blue. Okay. Maybe, maybe maybe these i think our wednesday goggles might be screwing us over since it's not wednesday we gotta tap in to the crate of good luck so give me a second let me see what i can find in here oh beautiful you don't give me what i want man i'm about to yeet you across this room all right because I'm not trying. I got. I had like seven thousand cod points when this started, dude. I want to have some cod points left over. So my guy, let's go together. Uh, come on, do it for me, minion. Show me what you got. It better be purple, bro. I'm seeing so many blues. I think I know the problem, y'all, because you haven't hit that like button yet. I, I got a hunch, a little feeling. If you hit that like button, we'll 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 probably get it. Honestly, if you hit that subscribe button too for more Call of Duty Mobile content, I feel like we'll definitely get it. Something just speaking out to me about this. Harambe! That's who's speaking out to me. Uh-huh. Okay. Guys, Harambe is spoken. You gotta subscribe and hit that like button if you haven't already for more Call of Duty Mobile content. I can't tell him that. Harambe says if you don't do it, he'll, he'll, he'll throw your phone out a window when you're sleeping. All right, Harambe, you are feeling confident, my guy. You better not have false confidence you better be the chosen one Four. we're still not getting the moonshot crate if we get it off this we'll have 4,000 cod points even so maybe my maybe fulfilling my ocd will give us the luck we need yeah that's a no for me chief dude how hard how many does it take it's a freaking chickum like, come on. No chickum should be this hard to get. I'm about to blow through all of my cod points trying to get a chickum, aren't I? Dude, I don't know, bro. I don't know. This one hurts. This one hurts a lot. <laughs> like, at least we are getting some cool skins on the side. Because, like, I, I genuinely do like the copperheads. But, bro, I don't need 500 copperheads, brother. I just need one chickum moonshot. Dude, how rare is this thing? Like, I tried looking at the odds, and, like, I couldn't find anything on it yet, because I think the crate just came out. But, oh, my God, I'm about to literally be out of COD points. A chickum is about to bankrupt me. Bro, say it ain't so say it ain't so come on at least on the last crate brother i mean we could buy five singles dude i've never been this desperate 
to get a chicken. Okay, that's a cool dark fiber. I already have it, but like... Dude, one of these singles better do me good. Or am I just gonna get five freaking dark fibers? I'm about to get five freaking dark fibers. Dude, did I like anger Harambe or something? This is the final one. Open some more, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Literally, how hard is this thing to get? Literally, how hard is this thing to get? It's a chickum. Bro. Give us more. Let's go, baby! Finally! Oh my god. Thank you. And there y'all have it in all of its demented beauty, the Chickum Moonstone with, I'm not gonna lie, the skin is actually really cool. I'm definitely a fan of it, but the Chickum itself, just, the, I, I don't know. I do like the fact it has how it's like all glowy and animated. I do personally love the skin. I just wish that it was part of a bundle. I've loved what they've been doing with bundles recently and having bundles be a thing instead of like so many crates and hopefully we see more bundles come our way man but enough of that enough pain and suffering let's get to the fun part of actually getting to use this gun i'm sorry my beautiful technical unicorn you gotta go there's a chickum in town let's toss the red dot on that thing this thing does come with a pretty nifty perk when we do get it to level 11 that of course being the double kills instantly add bullets into the clip plus level 12 we get kills broadcasted with an effect for now we're just gonna rock the red dot see how that goes and for the backpack we are gonna rock the seraph tombstone that's not the backpack but i do like the way that the backpack actually fits in with the tombstone personally i think it was like built for this skin a little bit because it kind of has like that snake texture to it it's called the ashen viper after all and we also have the ashen viper grenade and along with that a few we have the concussion grenade here for the ashen viper and was there another one too or just that the dark fiber yeah i don't really care about the dark fiber though and the desert snake a lot of snake themed skins when this crate it, it was pretty much a giant snake crate and we got snakes speaking of snakes we're also going to be rocking the knife copperhead which is definitely a pretty pretty knife like obviously the chicken was the big thing we were aiming for but out of the crates i am a fan of like a lot of the skins that we do get from that obviously there's only one epic in those crates which is the chicken but i do think that there are some pretty other cool skins like the ash and vipers overall do have a pretty sleek look and then on top of that what was the other one it was ash and viper and what was the other one copperhead there we go i'm actually a big fan of the copperheads i might rock those a little bit with uh the bk57 but there y'all have it a little bit of a look at these guns but all right enough of those guns here we got the chickum in our hand let's go and show this thing off in some actual gameplay so hopefully oh what's up my dude i see you over there the chicken's such an interesting gun just in general with like the whole two first little two tap i'm not gonna lie dude i'm doing all right with it all right oh what oh the kill streak no that's a freaking rcxd come on let me live let me live there we go the chicken can never die oh we got a guy over there dude what am i stuck on literally what was i just stuck on Dude, I mean, we're doing all right here. We're doing all right there, brother. Oh, there's a lot of people back there. Ah, should not have been trying to use that from a distance. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, man. The chickum, it's, it's all right, man. Obviously not my favorite gun. Especially, oh, when I do, don't put, don't, don't let me potato like that. Okay, luckily. They're bigger potatoes. <laughs> oh no. That guy's got a flamethrower. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay. I'm a shish kebab. Ooh. 
Oh! What the? What the? What the? What the? What the heck? Don't do that to me. Don't spawn someone in front of me like that. It's rude. Yeah, overall, let's see if we can just like get a good look at here when we're actually reloading. I don't know, man. All things considered, I don't really know if the gun's worth it. Like, it's a cool gun. Don't get me wrong. But it just... It's such a weird skin because you barely see it when you're using it, you know? Like, for example, if I re like when I reload, you can kind of see it. It has a really cool effect, but... Like, it, you can barely see it when you just have the gun in front of you. You see that? It's barely noticeable. When you reload, it's a little bit more noticeable, but... That's just a little bit of a shame, all things considered. I don't know. Would I go for this crate in particular? I would maybe recommend against it. I think that there are cooler skins. Just in general, they kind of like do give some proper love, so to speak, to the gun itself. Oh, get out of here. Do not want that RCXD. Very cool. But yeah, overall, I might like caution against going for this crate in particular. I do think that there's just cooler skins, better bang for your buck. Oh, what's up, dude? There's a crate I'm gonna steal. Boop. That's mine now. Hopefully. Once this guy like turns the corner. We got it just in time. <laughs> oh, it was a UAV. Oh, counter UAV. A little bit better. All right, we're cleaning things up with a few more kills. We're about two kills away from the W. Oh, not the shock XD! Ah, ha, ha. And all right, we're about two kills away from the W. And let's clean this thing up a little bit. Pow. And there we go. A little bit of a taste of the chicken moonshot. I want to love this skin. I think it has a really cool, like, just kind of subtle animation to it, but... It, it, it just like so you can barely notice it. I think that there are definitely better guns to save up for. Do not do what I did and drop over. I mean, I dropped like around 10,000 cod points. So would not recommend it for this skin. Would I recommend becoming a snowman forever and always? But I, I don't think I'd recommend the chickum. Just because this, I, I don't know. You know, if you're getting a skin, you probably want to have it be somewhat noticeable. And the chickum is just not very noticeable. And there are significantly cooler skins out there. Obviously, the Outlaw is a little bit over the top, but like, you know, the GKS Tactical Unicorn, very noticeable. Outlaw, very noticeable because, like, the entire gun kind of has a skin to it. Whereas the Chickum has this weird thing where mainly the parts of the gun you don't see have the custom skin to it, which is why I'm, like, kind of meh about it. But I don't know. Let me know what y'all think of the Chickum Moonstone. Okay, so I was completely wrong. It's not a moonshot, it's not a moonshine. The moonstone. So yeah, let me know what y'all do think of this skin. Because personally, I I mean I wish I saved up and got something else, but so be it. It's the way she goes sometimes, boops. It's the way she goes. I mean, just looking at things here, like the Wild West crate over here, like this BK57 is absolutely dope compared to it. Jungle Predator, this 117 Bangle is freaking awesome. Obviously, it's an animated skin, so it does have that coolness factor to it, but it's just the animation is at the parts of the gun that, like, aren't that noticeable, you know? But there you have a look at the Chickum Moonstone. And that's going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for this episode of Call of Duty Mobile. Thank you guys, Holton, for tuning in. Hopefully, I will see y'all in the next one where we get up into some other sorts of shenanigans. But till then, see you. Have an awesome day.